When the Ebola virus disease hit Liberia in 2014, it exposed the country's weak health system, including the lack of medical logistics. Today, efforts have been exerted by global partners and the government to build a resilient healthcare system for the country. The UC wants its aid borrowing is just one contribution to the expected improved health sector of Liberia. As for Medical Liberia, who owns the plane, says it will serve the entire West African region, with Liberia the primary beneficiary. There's a couple of reasons. One, because our clinic is here, and so this is where our hub of operations for the region is. We have another clinic opening or open now in Sierra Leone, um, but we felt that uh, our parent company is American. Um, with the Liberian law and, and the uh, regulations are quite American, it was a lot easier for the company to manage this place here. As I said though, the main reason is because our clinic is here. That's why we decided to put it here. What happens is they have a, um, we have a stretcher that goes just here and the, and the patient is loaded this way. And inside the aircraft are four stretchers. We can take four people on there with all of the equipment that's needed to take them to the next level of care. The investment will see patients evacuated from Liberia to countries in the West African region for improved medical attention. The aircraft coming to Liberia would not have been possible without the partnership of the Liberia Own Liberty Aviation Group. The aircraft that's here today should have been here about a year ago. Because of Ebola, because of other trying challenges along the way, we have it here today. There's a time for everything. It could have come earlier, it could have come in the midst of Ebola, but it's here today. The arrival of this air aircraft is definitely a game changer in the way we do medical evacuation from Liberia. Before trying to get an aircraft in here, maybe you had to wait five, maybe 12, maybe 24 hours to get an aircraft in. Now you can leave Liberia in less than two hours if you, have, if you meet the requirements of Aspen. In the past, the government officials and ordinary citizens have faced huge challenges in traveling from Liberia to seek medical attention out of the country in critical health conditions. The Aspen medical plane arrival in the country has also delighted stakeholders in the air travel industry of Liberia. With this, the hopes and aspirations of the aviation industry for medevac service has now been realized. So on that note, let me take this time to express our desire to continue to partner with Liberty Aviation and now with Aspen Medical International to have the service provided on a 24-hour basis into the James Briggs Bean Air, Air, Airport instead of the current sunrise to sunset schedule by providing navigational aids and runway lights for James Briggs Bean Airport within the near future. According to experts, the technicians on the Beechcraft 900C, the plane has the ability to withstand challenges of in the air in terms of turbulence. Well, she's a medium category aircraft, so she does have a bit of weight to her, which means that she can ride out a lot of turbulence, okay? The instruments in the front of the aircraft as well are very new. They've all been refurbished, and uh, they're aftermarket parts, which means it's not the standard stuff that came in the original models of this 1900s. They've all an upgraded version of that. So we, we're able to see not turbulence itself, but we're able to navigate around the weather very safely, very securely, and... Uh, ultimately making the passenger and patient ride a lot more smoother. According to what uh, 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 the facilities owners have said, this is a world-class and a state-of-the-art aircraft that will serve the population. This may also reduce constraints on Liberians as it relates to flying patients away from this country. Uh, so indeed, this is one a big uh, achievement the country can boast of in recent time. Evidence of the Ebola outbreak they had to fly uh, a medical aircraft of such to take away expatriate health workers that were in this country. With this now, Liberians can breathe at least an air of relief that they are in a state of real healthcare system. Moses Gazio, LNTV News, Jim Springs Airport, Monrovia, Liberia.